Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. I'm going to introduce a rule which I call the boxing rule for taking derivatives. This works when we have a function and we have different parts of it, especially like a multiplication even of two things. We have sine x times uh, natural log x or something like that. So if we want to take the derivative of this, this is what the boxing rule says. You, you take your expression and you box it into pieces all throughout. And then what you do is you take, is you take the derivative with res um, derivative, pretending that all boxes are constant, but one at a time. And just take the derivative of that and then pretend like everything else is a constant. Um, and then you then you take that result and then you add it to doing the same thing with another box. And you do that until you get through all the boxes and you've added up just as many things as you have boxes. So let's take a look at how that would go in this particular case. So here, we're gonna take turns. So maybe I'll label these as box one and box two. And so we'll kind of have one, and two, and we're gonna add results. So for one, we're gonna pretend that sine x is a variable, but everything else is a constant. So pretend for a minute the natural log is a constant, like seven or something. So pretend this is like seven times sine x, and I just wrote the seven on this side. And if I, if I wanna take a derivative of this, I'd get seven times cosine. But instead of seven, I really have natural log, and I'll just write it on the other side. So I end up getting cosine x times natural log x. Great, so I've just completed what to do with box one when it was the variable. Now we move to box two. All right, so we're gonna take the derivative of box two um, or of the whole thing. We take a derivative of the whole entire thing pretending that box two is the only thing that varies and everything else is like a constant. This is like a constant times natural log x. So the derivative of natural log x is one over x and we multiply it by that other thing thought of as a constant. So sine x times one over x and we're done. We just took the derivative of f of x. So it's just gonna be the sum of these two things. Cosine x times natural log x. We have cosine of x times natural log x plus sine x um, times one over x. And that right there is the derivative of f. Okay, so great. Let's look at another example of this boxing rule. All right, so what if we had something like, um, sine of x raised to the x power. All right, so this is a function. Now I can split it into two boxes here in the expression, box one, box two. So each box is gonna take a turn as being the variable. So if box one is like the variable, so this is like saying we have something raised to a constant, so x, but we can pretend like the constant is like three, say, right? How would you do this? Well, it's just a power rule, right? Three minus one, and you've multiplied the three out there. Okay, so that's the derivative of something raised to the third power, all right? Um, so, but then what do we have to do? We have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, sine x, okay? Because it's like a composition of two things. So derivative of that would be cosine x. But originally, what did we have in here? We had a sine x. But then instead of three, I would just put that in just as an example of what it would be like to have a constant, but we really don't have three sitting there. We had x, but we're pretending that it's a constant. So it's that and that. So that's what would go, that's what we'd have for box from letting box one be the variable. We would have x times sine x raised to the x minus one times cosine x. 
then we add to that what happens when we let um, box two be a variable and box one be a constant. So now this is like, okay, so sine of X is like a constant now say, like two, like, the, like think of it as like two to the X. Okay, um, so what would you do? Well, the derivative would end up being natural log of two times two to the X, but it, we're not two, it's actually sine X. So what we really have is natural log of sine X times sine x raised to the x power. Wow, but that's the derivative and that's it. And we were successful. It's the boxing rule. We just pretend like one thing is a variable at a time. Let's look at another example. Let's suppose that we had this time three boxes. Um, x times sine x times uh, cosine x even, all right? Let's just do that, three boxes. One, two, and three. So for each box, pretend that it's, that it's a variable one at a time and everything else is held, is pretended to be a constant. We take the derivatives with those assumptions and then we add the results. So for one, we pretend that that's a, okay, that's the variable, take a derivative, for, and these are constants, so a constant times x, what is the derivative? Just the constant. Now, what if you have a constant x cosine x, pretend that's a constant now, times sine x? What's the derivative? Well, it's just that constant multiplied by um, multiply by the derivative of sine, which is just cosine. Awesome. So now we keep going. Now for three, we pretend that this is the variable and everything else is held constant. So x sine x is like a constant, so it just stays there multiplied. But then we take the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine. Now if we, now if we um, maybe simplify a little bit and add, this, and add these together, that is the derivative. We just computed the derivative. The boxing rule is amazing. It can be used anytime you have an expression with multiple pieces and parts. You box them up and you just proceed pretending that one thing is constant one at a time and add up the results. Thanks for watching.